What's going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode. Coach Joe here with everybody at Heartletics, and we're going to be diving into a special presentation for everybody all about how to have success in reaching your goals for 2023. Now, these could be your health and fitness goals. These could be your goals in, let's say, your career, finances, relationships, uh, picking up on a new habit or hobby, anything like that. This is going to be one that's just going to go right to the point and just provide nothing but value to kind of help you guys out. Now, the first little diagram that we're going to be going over, this is our, our goals triangle, the goals pyramid, if you want to talk about it. And uh, Coach Mark, I believe you want to talk all in detail about goals. And let's just say for health and fitness purposes, since a lot of the members here, hey, they want to burn some body fat, probably some people from the outside in that are going to be listening to this or maybe watching this on YouTube. You know, they're going to be looking to burn some body fat as well, maybe putting on some lean muscle tissue, improving their metabolism, improving their energy or getting off their meds. Coach Mark, what would you say about the goals and in for as like how we can implement them as far as having success? Absolutely. Um, so first and foremost, um, you need to be <clears throat> specific in, internally as far as these goals, right? You need to know what you're looking to accomplish. Um, you know, it says on the slide here, exact, have clarity, pinpoint. So what that really means is, um, you know, knowing really what you want to accomplish so that you can actually, um, you know, not just, you know, kind of, um, you know, have that in your head, but really envision it. Um, you know, you need to spend some time kind of living in that goal. Um, so that you can kind of really connect with it, strive towards it. But once you've got that goal you know, established, um, it's important to kind of set it aside, right? And say, okay, now I've got the goal. I know what I'm shooting for. But now to get to that goal, it's the process that I really need to um, focus on. So yes, you need to have the goals in your head so that you kind of have them in the distance. But don't be comparing yourself against that goal on a daily basis. Um, don't be, you know, on the scale every minute, um, set that goal and then work on the process to get there. You know, hit your, 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 uh, your pillars, right. Your nutrition, your training, uh, you know, make sure you're drinking your water, you're, you're, you're getting your knee in, uh, sleep for recovery. Um, you know, all the appropriate daily habits to get you to the goals or where you need to focus after you've put together what that goal is for yourself. Yeah, perfectly said. And, and guys, when it comes to viewing this, you know, success for the goals uh, for 2023, look in the terms of exactly what this triangle, this pyramid is. That goals is at the very top. But remember, that little slither, that little piece of the pie, it's actually the smallest one. You know, we're going to be going in depth as we progress through this PowerPoint, uh, really giving you guys some real key things here. And as far as goals go, just to kind of, you know, tag off of what Coach Mark was saying is think about you having like a bow and arrow, right? And like, if there's no targets, it's very hard to hit anything. But now all of a sudden, hey, we put a target there. It, there the chances of us hitting something are, are, are better than, you know, if there was nothing there. So you want to make sure you're aiming for something. But what Coach Mark talked about was the process. And Coach Jimmy, this is something that you want to touch base on because this was very key for you in terms of having success with helping you lose the 130 pounds, correct? Absolutely, yeah. I mean, let's face it, guys, we're we're all here because we've tried things and it didn't work for us. We failed. Um, and if you look at any successful person in anything in life and you ask them, how did you get there? They have a certain process they followed that, you know, granted them success. So when you're hiring a coach or joining a program, there's a process in place you know, that's going to lead you to success. And all of us here have been through this process or gone through this process and we're finding great success. And I've lost 130 pounds through this process. So when you invest in yourself here, you want to make sure to come in with an open mind. Just everything you knew beforehand, anything you think you know, you know, forget it, let it go, come in, open-minded and follow what our process is. You know, do, do your training every day. You're uh, hitting your nutritional goals every day. Um, and a big part of that process also is communication. Um, if there's ever anything that's not working for you or you're having trouble with, you have to communicate that because we're not mind readers. Uh, we need to know that so we can fix it. And that's just part of the process, being open and having an open line of communication 
And with us, you have 24 seven access to the coaches at any time. So you wanna make sure you're communicating, being engaged in the community group and just following through on your daily goals um, to follow, get you through the process. And I guarantee you, if you do that, success. Absolutely. Perfectly said. And uh, guys, when it comes down to, you know, the process is also think about this is that we are always constantly as coaches reminding you guys to trust the process. Cause I know at times, especially if you're very fixated on a number on the scale, but you don't understand the difference between weight loss and fat loss and how it's two completely different things. We focus on the fat loss. That's it, right? The mindset, the fat loss, we don't really care about the number on the scale because somebody could be 200 pounds and let's say 40% body fat, the man boobs, the beer belly, high blood pressure, and somebody could be 200 pounds, same age, but also let's say 10% body fat. They got chiseled chest, you know, 10% body fat. They got ripped abs, you know, tons and tons of energy, everything like that. And so we, you're going to hear from the coaches, right? Multiple people saying also inside the community group, you got to trust the process. It's almost about having faith. And um, the biggest part is about habits. That's what sets Heartletics apart from most different programs out there is that we focus primarily on habits. And Jimmy said it best as far as like, hey, you got 24-7 support to all your coaches. You have 24-7 support to everybody inside the community group. It's our job to make sure that we're creating habits for you. Uh, the meal plans at the end of the day, as you guys know, they're just personalized templates. It's nothing to say, hey, you have to follow this to the teep because at the end of the day, we want to teach you. You know, we go off the philosophy, you can give a man a fish and feed him for a day, or you can teach a man how to fish and feed him for the rest of his life. We want to teach you these habits on how to do it all. But it's not just the physical habits of, you know, hitting your calories and staying within your calorie range, hitting your protein target and, you know, getting your needs, your non-exercise activity thermogenesis in and, you know, plenty of water and plenty of sleep, but it's all the soul the mindset, you know? And that's one of the biggest foundations of Heartletics that we try to focus on the most because, when we can change who somebody is and, it, you know, focus on their mindset shift, their physical change is going to happen. It's going to be the inevitable, you know, and focusing on the mindset, different habits with that, that could be different things that we talk about, you know, affirmations, meditation, um, just writing down your goals, gratitude, journaling, anything like that. But I think what helps out guys the most is understanding that, hey, there's a whole bunch of other guys inside the community group going through the same process as them to where it makes it a lot easier. You know, Les Brown, he's a motivational speaker. He said it best. Birds of a feather flock together. You hang around with losers in life, you become a loser. Hang around winners in life, you become a winner. We got nothing but winners inside the community group. And we want everybody to feel a part of the family to where, hey, they're also going to have that winner's mindset. And this leads us to what's very important is your beliefs. You know, you have your explicit beliefs and then you have your implicit beliefs. And with explicit beliefs, think about that as, you know, saying a goal to somebody else. Like, you know, if I'm talking to Coach Jimmy, because I see him on my screen right now, I can say, you know, hey, Coach Jimmy, uh, the sky is red, right? And I could be like, what, what, is this, what does that even mean? What does that do with anything? Like the sky is not red, but it's something that I can say, you know? Now, implicit belief, that is actually what you think and what you feel to be true. So many times guys could say something like, let's say, you know, this is going hand in hand with affirmations. Guys could say something and they feel a little bit uncomfortable at first. I'm sure, that's with a lot of guys when they start doing affirmations that they've never once done that before. And that's why we always send over the little cards. You know, they have the three Heartletics affirmations on them that is saying this, you know, number one, I'm in the process of becoming the best version of myself. And the reason why that statement is so true and a lot easier to say than something like, oh, I'm at 10% body fat, or I have, you know, ripped six pack abs and you're 40%, you know, body fat and, you know, 80 pounds overweight is because there's so much confidence and truth in saying something that says, I'm in the process of becoming the best version of myself. You know, another one that we have on there is 1% better every day. Small changes over time lead to big results. And once again, these are things that we can start affirming. And what it does it just starts breaking those self limiting beliefs. So many times guys out there, they have these belief systems about, you know, what people have told them and what they have, you know, bred to be true within their own life. You know, I like saying that beliefs kind of equals patterns, 
right? Inside the brain. And so those patterns are going to mix with different habits, the processes, which is going to give you those results that you're looking for in order to change the results in order to reach your goals. You really have to focus on the belief system, you know, and then it goes right down the rabbit hole. Hey, you got those beliefs that you firm to be true and you actually think and you feel it's possible. And here's the bright side of this. When you guys start burning body fat, when you guys start communicating with the other members inside the community groups, guess what? It makes it so much easier to feel like, man, I'm seeing results, right? It's, it feels really, really good. That belief system is start having, right? Um, Mike Berry, he's a prime example. In seven weeks of coaching, he got off of his blood pressure and his cholesterol medications, but also reversed his type two diabetes. Now his doctors told him he would have to be a vegetarian and it would take him years to do that. He was able to do it in seven weeks. Why? Well, for one, he listened to the coaches. So he trusted the process. Two, he had the goal of, okay, this is what I want. It wasn't like, oh, I just want to lose some weight. He had a goal. I want to get off all my medications. I want to reverse my, uh, you know, type two diabetes and lower my A1C levels. And he had the habits, you know, you mix that in with obviously, you know, teaching him how to properly eat, teach him how to properly train, how to do all that. He started to see the results. He started to feel better, feel more energy, right? See that number on the scale go down, see his body fat start to go down, see his you know health markers start to improve. It was breaking those self learning beliefs about what the doctors all told him about, hey, that he would have to be a vegetarian and it would take him years to get off his medications. And so he was able to break those self learning beliefs. And also when he went back to his doctors and share with them the good news, guess what? He was actually able to break their self learning beliefs as well. So this is very key. And I will say this, out of this whole entire you know, success pyramid, changing somebody's beliefs is the hardest thing to do, okay? But once you're open-minded, once you're inside that community group and you're talking with the other guys that are just, once again, no different from you at all, it makes it so much easier. It's kind of like Robert Bannerston, right? He ran the four minute mile. And before then, Everybody thought it was impossible. In fact, doctors thought that the human heart would actually explode if somebody was able to accomplish that. He was able to do it. And the first year after he was able to accomplish that goal, there was over 128 people that was able to accomplish that as well. Now there's high schoolers that are able to you know, accomplish that four minute mile goal as well. And it's just one of those things about breaking the self-learning beliefs. And this is the power of, you know, you unlocking your fullest potential, becoming the best version of yourself, not just physically looking good with your shirt off, but most importantly, mentally. Your mindset is very key. That's the most important muscle to train. And then the last part where, you know, me and the coaches are going to really help you guys out with understanding this is you have to have your why. You have to. It has to be important to you. It has to, right? The bigger the why, the better. And is the why just about you or is it about others as well? And so guys, long story short, this is your pyramid for success. This is how you're going to achieve the results that you're looking for. This is how you're going to reach your goals of losing weight, right? And burning body fat and having more energy. You got to trust the process, right? Just like what coach Jimmy said about following through with it and, and having that, you know, uh, you know, understanding it's going to happen. You have to have the habits. You have to have the belief, but that why, that is your true foundation. And so let's kind of just share with everybody our, our specific whys. Um, Coach Jimmy, I'll go with you first, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Um, when I first started this journey, my why was, you know, obviously for myself to get healthy, but I also have children that, you know, were starting to follow in my bad habits. And I, you know, I, I wanted to change that. And that was my biggest uh, goal and thing I wanted to do. As I've gone on in this process, you know, it gets a little deeper and you find out a lot more about yourself. Um, you know, my why is to, um, you know, my whole life, people telling me I am what I am. Uh, I can do certain things. I can't do certain things or I'll never achieve certain things. And my why is to be the man that I always thought I could be and to show all those people that they were wrong. I love that. Um, let's get a few more people, you know, sharing their whys. Coach Brian, do you mind kind of sharing a little bit about your whys? I mean, you had lots of success, you know, losing over 80 pounds, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my why <clears throat> has never changed. It's been being around to those that depend on me, primarily my wife and kids. And I had let myself just go. 
and I knew I was on a pathway, a dangerous pathway, and and I don't have a lot of pre-existing conditions or any things in, genetically that that were that are that scary. But I just knew that I'd let myself go, putting on a lot of weight, and and got a lot less active. And I was not the example, the husband, the father that I needed to be. And I knew that I had to get up and and do something about that. And and the best way for me to show those people that they are a priority was to make myself a priority. And so my why are primarily my wife and kids and my loved ones. I love that. I love that. Uh, Coach Jeremy, would you mind sharing with everybody your why? My why started out you know, kind of vanity, but I wanted to get in better shape, get a little healthier. I'd already had a heart attack and some blood pressure issues, things like that. Got off all my meds, but that why has grown so much. It's turned into being an example for my kids. I got I got 10 kids and I want them to be able to live a long, healthy life. And I want to be, you know, 90 years old sitting on my porch, having great kids come over and, you know, they want to go do something. I want to be active enough to be able to do that. And being able to say affirmations with my son, have my daughter drop 20 pounds in the last couple of months, getting in shape, doing, building these healthy habits. It just fortifies that why I need to be that example for my family and the people that I encounter. I love that. I love that a lot, man. Um, and I love seeing that, you know, obviously like utilizing, hey, that family as that why to really kind of help you out with that. That's great. Um, Coach Dennis, I uh, why don't you go ahead and share your why, brother? Because when you got started off, man, it was, it was, it, we needed to focus on that mindset, man. If yeah. you don't mind sharing with everybody a little bit before, you know, how you kind of mentioned about you believed it all calories in versus calories out. And then once we were able to break through that, man, you went through a, a terror, man. It got off all your medications too, right? Yep. Uh, so when I first started, I was doing one meal a day, you know, because I'd always heard calories in versus calories out. Um, I had taken the family to Universal Studios and waited in line for an hour to ride a ride. And when I got up to the front, they told me that I was too big and I had to take the walk of shame. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, I stopped eating that whole rest of that trip. I didn't eat a single thing. So when I got home, I got sick because I pretty much trashed my metabolism. Once I signed up with Coach Joe, I started, you know, taking off. And my why was because I got tired of being an embarrassment to my family and my kids because I felt like I was letting them down by not taking care of myself, which taking not taking care of myself had turned into I had I had come to terms with it as, well, I'm spending all my time taking care of them that's bullshit. That's no, that, that, that's on me. That was an excuse. And I'm not going to do that. And I decided to start doing what coach Joe said. And here I am today. I love that. I love that brother. And uh, coach Mark, what about you, brother? What was your why? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when I came uh, you know, along, I was um, feeling very, you know, energy list, very lethargic and also kind of resigned to the path of my dad who I lost when he was 57. And I kind of had an awakening as I was approaching 50 myself that said, no, I don't need to follow that path. I need to find a new way. And, and, uh, and that was my beginning really uh, was to get that energy, you know, that spark back and to also, you know, change that path. But that why developed as I went along to, you know, really just uh, a, you know, wanting to be the best version of myself all around. You know, I learned so much about myself along the way. And then, you know, now it's evolved to wanting to share that with as many people as possible and be the best coach I can possibly be. So it really kind of you know progressed as I went through. I love that. I love that. So guys, if we had to go back, right. And, and viewed, right. Once again, the success pyramid, you didn't hear a lot of people say like, Oh, I want to lose a little bit of weight right? As their goals. It was something that was a deep rooted why, because at the end of the day, guys, here's the reality. This, this pyramid, it's, it's very similar to this. Give me a second. I'm going to, I'm going to get right back on screen here and share with you guys the success where there's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of perseverance. There's a lot of persistence as well. It's not going to be all sunshine and roses. And that's the reality. Sometimes you're going to go through some hard work and at times it's going to be hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel, but that deep rooted why that everybody kind of shared that right there is what's going to make it so much easier to put one step in front of the other. You know, athletics, we always say this 
1% better each and every day. That's all we're trying to strive here. It's it, we understand like feeding the good wolf. That's our mission, but that bad wolf is always going to be there. It's going to be hard at times. And as you guys can see this, you guys want to have that success, but there's a lot that goes underneath that you don't see the hard work, uh, the persistence, the late nights, the rejections, the sacrifice, the discipline, criticism, the doubts, the failures, the risk. There's a lot behind the scenes that you're not going to see. And this is all the bad wolf. But here's the thing. You guys have probably one of the most important keys to success. And that is a community. That's a family of people that's going to support you. And that's one of the reasons why most guys fail at reaching their goals is because they're all on the island by themselves, you know, and when life throws them curveballs, which it will, life's always going to test you. They don't have anybody in their corner like teammates to support them, to pick them up, coaches to help them out, figure out what are the small tweaks to make when life throws them those curveballs. And most importantly, just make sure that, hey, we're there to support them and to really help them out. So guys, as we wrap things up here, all I want is for you guys to understand as we're getting ready to go into the new year, 2023, everybody can have success. Everybody can reach their goals no matter what it is. But remember this you got to have that deep-rooted why. That will always be your foundation. And when life throws you those curveballs, always remember your why. That's what's going to help you put one foot in front of the other. So, guys, I hope you guys saw some value from today's podcast. If you did, definitely go share this with a friend, a family member on social media. And uh, as always, guys, this has been Coach Joe with the Heartletics team with the Heartletics podcast. Peace out, Girl Scouts.